Virgo in your astrological chart. You have wedding. Okay, so many of you are going to a wedding or you view someone as the person you want to marry. Okay, you could be planning a wedding. You could be a wedding planner. Um, you could be getting married. You have divine timing. Um, 10 o'clock could be significant to you. Okay. You have soul searching. All right. So I feel like you are exploring life and enjoying what makes your soul happy. Magnetic connection. And you're drawn to somebody as you are, you know, just focusing on yourself. There's a lot of seduction here. And there is reconciliation that you do not see. All right, Virgo, let's look at the future. For Virgo, the future for Virgo. Many of you are reconciling with somebody. Okay. You're very different from them, but also very similar. And you guys keep um, getting pulled back together. No matter what you do, you have High Priestess, Three of Wands, Full in Reverse. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the moon. Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius. So many of you are psychics, tarot card readers, medium seers. You could also be um, seeing one. But I also see travel. I'm also seeing you start a long distance travel, romance, or relationship. This has been something that's been very secret. My ears are ringing. This has been very secret. But um, I'm also seeing you like pack. I'm seeing you pack. I'm seeing like there's lingerie, there's thigh highs, there's all types of stuff. I feel like um, many of you like, you know, you have dresses, I see heels. Um, you're also like some type of teacher, very aligned with the moon, okay? So you can be a spiritual teacher. Um, you preserve your body until the right relationship. There's something about you not being extremely like um, all over the place. You're very in tune with how you feel emotionally. The moon. You're also well aware of what you deserve with the high priestess. You're very quiet. You have to ask this woman. Okay. This is a woman um, where the connection ever became official. Yeah. Anything else? Oh, are you serious? To clarify, High Priestess, you have the Devil in Reverse, Three of Swords, Libra and Capricorn, and then the Emperor, Aries, Scorpio. Taurus, Leo can be any sign. Many of you have broken up with a Capricorn, okay? Or a Libra. Or they broke up with you, or that's what's happening in the future. There was um, infidelity. It was toxic. It's toxic. With the emperor, you do want commitment. You do want relationship, and you are a good man. Okay? You've chosen to commit to the high priestess. Five of swords, Venus, and Aquarius. Um... You've cut someone out. And I see that you are focused on the future. Not really focused on um, how you doing what makes you happy has maybe an impact on, you know, another individual. Because the truth of the matter is, it's not going to stop you from doing what makes you happy. Um... Also, you see uh, you're catering to the high priestess. This is also someone that you want an actual commitment relationship with. 
Okay, advice. The full in reverse. Um, I feel like you're traveling somewhere you've already been. But um it's like you're more intuitively experienced as well. Four of Swords, Two of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, one more. And the Magician, the Masculine Energy. Sheesh, Judgment, and the Knight of Swords. You have Knight of Wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Someone has matured. Someone grew up. Someone realized they had to grow up. They were a player, but they're not a player anymore. They were, but they're not anymore. You know, there's been a maturity thing that's happened here. As far as advice goes, it's um, about loving yourself. If you're not okay with the way that someone's acting right now, if the way that someone's acting right now, right? If you wouldn't be okay with them acting like that 10 months from now, then why would you do another couple of seconds or a couple of minutes dealing with that type of behavior right if that's just not what you want i mean realistically that's what i'm saying dating with the purpose if you're dating someone you should be dating them with the purpose of oh i'm trying to get you know in a some type of you know commitment relationship one day into the future and that's just because of the the culture that i've come from the nigerian culture is you're not in a real relationship until you've jumped over a broom, you've signed your name on the dotted lines, and people are throwing rice at you, okay? Until then, you're not in a relationship. Um, there's a certain level of commitment where it's not like... That's why you see um, Nigerians get married so quickly, because it's not officialized until you've actually gotten married. But what I'm saying is if you're dating with a purpose, then it's like... Then it's like, you don't choose people who you know it has no potential to, to have longevity with. You know what I mean? Like, you know it's not going to last very long with that person. Like, dating with the purpose. Not not dating people where you know, oh, this isn't going to go absolutely anywhere. Nobody's got time for that. No one has time for that. No one's got the energy for that. And even if they got the money for that, they don't want to spend money on that. No one wants to give energy and time and effort to something that has absolutely no potential of being what they want. Especially when they know their value and they know their worth and they know what they want out of life. They want children. They want legacy. They want marriage. If you don't want that, then it's really just not going to work. Period. It's like people just don't have time for that anymore. People are grown. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. We're not dealing with players anymore. It's just, you know, nobody's got time for that. You got to get you a man that loves you more than you love him. Like, for real, for real. Nowadays, the way that people be acting, it's like you could go hell and high water. And they still act as if they're just not, it's not, it's beyond narcissistic. It's, they act, you know, just like they just don't care. Like, it makes you wonder, like, who raised them? Like, like common sense isn't common. That's, under, you know, that's completely understandable. And not everybody's raised the, the same way. But there needs to be common decency, essentially, given. With the Nine of Cups here, it's about you recognizing, no, I want what I want. I'm going to get what I want. It is what it is. And... If I don't like the way I'm being treated, if I don't like what I'm receiving, I will go elsewhere where I will receive exactly what I want because I'm not trying to date someone for 15 minutes. I'm trying to date someone for 30 years. I'm trying to have longevity and children. I'm trying not to have my time wasted, period. I have no problem being openly honest with that. That's what you're saying here. You're like, I'm completely fulfilled within myself and I know I deserve what I want. And so I'm going to get what I want. Four of Swords, Jupiter, and Libra. Many of you are coming back on to um, social media. I'm also seeing you um, taking time to rest. The Two of Cups is also like, um, there's a relationship that's maybe um, someone wasn't really talking that much. 
or they just weren't putting in any effort. Like they weren't flirting, they weren't trying to connect to you, they weren't putting in any effort. You were making all the plans, you put in all the energy, you put in all the time. Nobody wants to deal with that. Nobody wants to feel as if they're the only one that is committed into a situation. It's just no. <laughs> it's just a no. No, nobody wants to deal with something like that. They want to feel like, you know what, I'm not doing things alone. I have someone, you know, there in that connection with me that is, you know, helping. Um, with the two of cups, it's like you're very compatible with somebody. Many of you are getting into a relationship or a connection. Many people are seeing this as well. I feel like you are, um, because it's sort of like you put your foot down, Virgo, you get what you want. You know, too often, um, they're settling for less. Just in general, in life. And you're like, I don't want to, I know. Uh-uh. I want to live now. I'm not going to wait to live tomorrow. I'm not going to settle for whatever. No, I want what I want. And it is what it is. Okay, like that's just the way I gotta have it. The Ten of Pentacles, Mercury and Virgo. Um, this magician is in love with their best friend. And they're coming towards the feminine energy. Six of Pentacles for Moon and Taurus. And then the magician, Gemini, Aries, Virgo, Scorpio, reciprocity. Like dating, um, taking you out, taking you out on a date. Wanting a chance with you, judgment, Libra, Aries, Scorpio, Capricorn, not wanting to be a player anymore because it didn't get them what they wanted. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, and the Knight of Swords, Taurus, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. The advice is knowing, look, wake up. You don't know everything, and that's okay. None of us do. Some of you have a speech impediment. Some of you just have um, mental illness, okay? I see a large windfall of money coming in, you getting what you want in your career. You could be at the height of your career, like a business owner, CEO, entrepreneur. I see you waking up that like, this is not attractive. The whole, just inconsistency in general, that's not an attractive trait. Okay, that's how you lose someone. That's how you lose really good things, right? Um, your advice is to be reciprocal. Many of you are in love with a family friend. I'm also seeing this could be like a, a, what's that called? Like a donation center. Maybe you are going to like Goodwill or something like you're giving back, doing like a charity drive. I see you working your, in your community magician, also communicating. Um, you make someone laugh, you make someone blush, you make someone smile, you know how to make someone uh, feel. Now, the magician is also somebody who matches everything that you want in a partner. That's what's coming towards you. They've manifested, manifested reciprocity, six of pentacles. Communicate. That's your advice. Communicate. You know, a connection takes two people to, to make it work. So someone can only do so much. You know what I mean? Um, do your part, basically, is what Spirit's saying. And if you don't do your part, be aware that whoever you're dealing with will not do theirs either. Because nobody wants to deal with something that's not reciprocal, right? Let's look at... So you are reconciling. I see tennis. It takes two, right? It takes two to make a thing go right. It takes two to make it out of sight. I'm getting that scene when they walked into, um, that's funny, when they walked into the freaking, uh, the love and basketball scene when she walks into the gym and that song is actually playing. It ain't suited to make a thing go right. It ain't suited to make it outside. But, um, tennis, it does take two. You can't play necessarily by yourself unless you're playing against the wall. 
So if you want this relationship and connection to work, it, it does have to go both ways, man and woman, you know. Um, and if it's, you know, this reconciliation that's happening, it's about also acknowledging that people do grow. Not everybody's the same as they used to be. People grow up. Um, people mature. People learn. Okay. And to accept that as well. You know, you don't have to hold on to the way you think someone used to be. I'm also saying in the future, many of you may get like a client that's suicidal. Okay. Yeah. Many of you are also surgeons. Many of you had to like surgically remove like a Capricorn away from you. I'm also seeing that you are um, blocking them. You don't want to communicate. Um, it's over. That cycle has ended and it helped you rise to your power. That was the lesson you're supposed to learn in it. Okay. Many of you were cheated on. Okay. If you're a single feminine energy, there's a masculine energy coming into your life that wants to be in a relationship with you. So it just accept it. It doesn't matter what's happened in the past, to be honest with you. As far as like, say, um, you're just moving forward and it's someone new, okay. If it's someone that you already know, okay. I feel like you are you don't have an expectation of who it is. You're just open to love. Um yeah, like, I don't want to try to expect something. I know. Uh-uh. I'm very grateful for what I have. You're very abundant. Many of you have a very prosperous business. Um, I also see you're very attractive. You feel good about yourself. Very alluring. You're like a woman. People believe that they cannot have. You're in a very high position in your career. And um, you don't want to deal with people who may be so jealous that they can't even give a simple compliment with the Knight of Swords in reverse. You don't want to deal with people like that. People who don't want to. I mean, that's bonkers to me. That's crazy to me. That some people are so um, insecure within themselves. They can't give other people compliments because they're terrified that it may boost that person's self-esteem. Something that they themselves do not have. That is crazy. But um, many of you have had an awakening that you want something reciprocal. You will not tolerate crumbs. Uh -uh. Many of you are also getting child support. The judge is giving you child support. And someone's very upset about that. Or you're very upset about that, Virgo, with the Knight of Wands in reverse. Many of you are upset at yourself. So, you know, if you want... To manifest what it is that you want, you have to take accountability of the part that you've played and why maybe that manifestation has not come true. Right? Right. Um, the advice is to manifest, um, communicate. Magician, communicate to the person you're trying to reconcile to. Realize you don't know everything and give exactly what it is that you want to receive. Because someone has like, someone's like, look, I'm not giving anymore. I've been giving and it's just, it's like, uh -uh. it's not balanced or um, you're like, I deserve more. You do. And you're highly aware of that. The high priestess is in a higher rank than the emperor. This is number four, but this is number two. She outranks him spiritually and physically. Because the emperor likes to try to be in control, right? And you're taking the initiative to go towards someone that you truly want for peace. They have peace signs around them. And you're being um, 
just very realistic with yourself that you do want something to work you do want it to be long term and um you know someone can only take so much you know what i mean and why would you even want to put somebody through that or push somebody to that point that just shows how screwed up in the head you are as an individual if you would willingly treat someone as less than they um deserve simply because of your own feelings of an inadequacy yeah your advice is to communicate yeah Many of you are writers. Some of you have been taking, if you're masculine energy, you've been taking a heartbreak out on the high priestess. You've been taking it out on this person. Because you were dealing with the devil, you could have, I mean, for many of you, you got um, cheated on or hurt by a Libra Capricorn. Aries or a Scorpio, you took it out on someone you have a spiritual connection with, trying to overpower and control. Okay. Which you realize was foolish, the full universe. And didn't get you what you wanted. So you may have tried to play mind games or try to agitate this person. Like that's not okay. Take that as confirmation. That's not okay. Some of you have made, if you're a masculine energy, some of you have made someone cry like multiple times, whether you care or not. Okay, you should be aware of that. You've made someone cry like a lot. <laughs> That's not okay ever okay um virgo be receptive to this new love you absolutely deserve it you want to settle down and you want to have children and you want to get married you want all these beautiful things and unfortunately uh you are aware that you know there are people in the world that may have um, not so good intentions or motives. Rather, it's because of your abundance or your money or who you are as an individual, what you stand for, the way that you look. I see you having up the proper boundaries and recognizing you just want to be happy. And you're done explaining to people why you should deserve to be happy. Or deal with people who are unhappy with the fact that you are happy. You know what I mean? You, you just want to be happy. You know? So I feel like that's what you're focusing on. Honestly, that's what you're most focused on. Very interesting. you're very calm this is me reading all the voodoo products and services that i provide in the description box down below next to the butterfly uh congratulations on getting exactly what you want you get a long-term relationship with real reciprocity with somebody who knows you through and through i'm proud of you for not settling I'm proud of you. Yeah. Well, the video and service are provided in the description box down below. Next to the butterfly is January 14, 2022. Oh my gosh, I think it's like 2 p.m. Yeah, it's like 2 p.m. All right, Ashe.